Hillary here of Scrappy Mommy and I just want to share um, a baby baby mini album that I made and it's a baby girl mini album again and I use the cinch binding for this album and this is my first time using the cinch by We Are Memory Keepers and it, I find it very very easy to use and very easy to make a mini album using this um, binding system but for me in my opinion um, if you're using this um, binding system if the possibilities of making a very interactive album with lots of pockets flip outs and lots of that stuff is very limited when you use this um, binding rather than the hidden hinge um, binding system but that's just for me and then for this album i just made this album, album very very simple i just made layout on every page and i just add added little embellishments for this album i just want this one to be very very simple and just um, a photo for each month of the baby's first year and then right here on the cover i added this um, chipboard piece and then this one is from the cut apart sheet and i used the foam tape to add some dimension and this is a sticker from the collection that i locked up with cardstock and then i use a ribbon closure right here and then i pieced these two pattern paper together and then i added ribbon on this side as well and then i added this um brad from the collection and i also added a, a button i can't find the button here here's the button there right there and then this is the back and this is also a sticker that i backed up with um card stuff and then so let's open up the album i also use the bundle of joy paper collection kit by echo park from echo park sorry and i wasn't able to film the whole process when i was making this so i don't have any tutorial for this guys hopefully when i made another um, cinch album i will be able to do so so right um the pages of this album are six and a half by eight and a half inches and then I use a 20, 120 pound card stack for this album. And then right here on the inside cover, I place these stickers. And then you can place the newborn photo right here. And then this is from the cut apart sheet. And this is a tuck in spot. So you can journal the baby stats. And then you can add another photo at the back. And then. This one, you can pull this one out and stick down the photo or just slide in the photo if you want, you can do so. And I just added this button and ribbon and then a sticker right there. And then on this page, I added this tag and I used the tag punch board to make this tag. And then I added, this, added these stickers that I backed up with um, cardstock. And then you can add in a uh, wallet size photo right here this is a tuck in spot as well and then i added these ribbons and then right here are stickers and for this i added some paper flowers and for this flower i used this sponge that i bought from daiso when i was still in doha a long time ago and then i added also some rhinestones over the flowers and these are stickers so you can journal right here or you can add a small photo if you want and this page is for the first month i added some stickers right here and you can place smaller photos on this space and then i made this frame like a polaroid sorry polaroid frame and i use my we are memory keepers frame punch board for that then you can also pull this one out and stick down the photo and put it back and you can place a 3x4 photo I think or 3x5 and then these are paper flowers that I layered and I added the rhinestone and for that flower I used this punch also from Daiso and then I stamped in here first month and I added this ribbon 
And for that, I use this punch also from Daiso. And then I stamp in here with height and then mass stone. And then on the next page, there's a uh, small pocket right here. And I tap in here um, journaling tags. And then I made this um, tag using the tag punch board by We Are Memory Keepers. And I added this paper flower and a ribbon and a sticker right there. So you can journal right here. And then you can add a um, a 3x5 photo right here. And then this is a pullout. Another photo mat. You can place a wallet size photo right here. You can slide it in here like so. And then another photo at the back or you can journal. And then this is a packet so you can put it inside like so. And this is a sticker from the collection. And I stamp in, stamped in here second month. And add another ribbon with the rhinestone. And I stamped in here weight, height, and then milestone. So you can journal journal right there. And supposed to be, I'm gonna use my silhouette mint to make this um, stamp um, sentiments. But I changed my mind and I, I don't want it to be perfect. So I, use, I just use my alphabet stamp. And for I use the Artemio stamp for the... This one, this, the second, and then for the month, and then this um, sentiments, I use this alphabet stamp. So I forgot what, where this is from, but this is the one I used. And then right here, I added this envelope, and I used my envelope punch board from We Are Memory Keepers, and I added this sticker and the paper clip, and added this photo mat, so you can paste another photo right there. And then another photo, and these are stickers. Then you can place what you want here inside. And then right here, you can place the third month photo of your baby. And then this is also a pullout. Another photo mat right there. And journaling spot at the back. And then this is also a packet, a size packet. And then I added these small tags. Where you can journal the height, the weight, and then I added these ribbons. And then these are stickers that I backed up with cardstock. And then this is a pattern paper and I stamp in there milestone so you can journal right there. And this is a tucked in spot. And here is a 4x6 photo. So you can place a 4x6 photo right there. Like so. And then on the next page... Right here are two photo spots and here you can place a 3x5 photo and I back this one up with cardstock and you can slide it in there and then I added this um, flowers with rhinestones and this is for the fourth month and then another um, wallet size photo right here and these are stickers from the collection and then I added this cut apart that I made as a small tag and I added this ribbon and then and then right here you can journal and then I added this um, journaling tag also journaling card from the collection so you can journal there and then uh, add uh, another photo at the back a wallet size photo and then right here you can journal the fifth month weight height and then milestone and I added the stickers and then a ribbon I added right there. And these are stickers from the collection. So you can place here a um, 3x5 photo. You can tuck in right there. And then this is for the fifth month. And I backed, up, backed this one up with cardstock. And this one as well. And then I just added some strings that I tied as a ribbon. And then I also added a ribbon here. And then you can place, um, add three more photos right here smaller photos like so and then the next page and this is also from the cut apart sheet and i just added a ribbon and a sticker and then and then right here you can add a four by six photo for the sixth month and these are stickers and then you can journal right here 
that is so cute and then i added this journaling card you can journal in sticker and a ribbon and then another photo mat at the back where you can place a wallet size photo like so this one it's a portrait photo and then right here for the seventh month you can pull this one out and then add the three by five photo like so and then these are stickers from the collection and then another small photo right here a landscape photo then you can slide it in here and then these are stickers from the collection and then you can journal right here and then you can put this back up and slide a photo like so and then for the eighth month on the next page you can you can add another four by six photo like so and i just added some flowers with the rhinestone and then you can journal in here and then i added that stickers and then this one is a pull out and from the cut apart sheet you can journal right there and then add another photo at the back and i added a sticker and a string that i tied as a ribbon and then oops sorry and then I added this, um, sorry, I'm not at the center. Sorry about that, guys. And then right here, I added these photo mats. So this one, you can open this. You can open this and then um, you can add photos. So this one can hold six photos like so six photos and then i just added stickers there and then right here for the ninth month you can add a four by six photo right here and then this is a sticker and then this is a cut apart from the collection and i stamped there so you can journal there you can also journal some here something in here sorry and then for the 10th month um you can uh, add some three by five photos like so you can tap in here and then i just add here the side this side and the top and bottom and made a packet and then I added this cut apart that you can journal and place another photo at the back and this is also from the cut apart sheet and these are stickers so there and then for the 11th month you can add another 4x6 photo like so and this is a sticker that I backed up with cardstock and then you can journal right here and this is a sticker as well and I just added a string right there so there and then for the 12th month you can pull this one out and place another 4x6 photo portrait one and then these are stickers from the collection and I place it here at Dorbs and I place a heart sticker right there so you can tuck this one in here and then I added uh, another tag you can journal right there and these are stickers and then I added a ribbon right there and then at the back another photo mat you can place the uh, four by three photos or three by five photos and then I added some stickers right there and this one holds another four by six photo and then I added the stickers and I pieced together the pattern paper you can see that I pieced different pattern, pa pattern papers together I used my scraps from um, the, the first um, no the second album that I made there are still some papers left so I used I also used that for this um, album so that's it guys that's my first um cinch mini album and i hope you all like it and um give me some love and hit that 
thumbs up button. Thank you for watching, guys. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit Finish. that ring that ring. Finish. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button beside the subscribe button so you'll be notified for my new videos and I have this album for sale if you want to purchase this album please go to my website or on my Etsy shop all the links are in the description box and I also put that in your screen on your screen sorry and um, and I want to know what you think so please leave a comment down below thank you for watching guys till my next video bye